Is the cross block a mystery to you? Do you feel like you're giving up way too much court any time you're deciding to throw your blocker in the diagonal and you gotta defend that line? It can feel icky, right? To give up that much space on the court and let the hitter know, hey, I'm on your side and you have a football field to hit into. So in this video, we're gonna go over the right way to block cross and defend down the line. The number one problem that we see most players do and that feeling that really gets inside of us is that we don't want the attacker to see where we are on defense. So when we call for a cross block, we know that we're attempting to hit the most common swing, which is the diagonal hard cross swing. So when we put our blocker there, that's the idea, to make sure that that's protected and we can at least stop that. But then our defender worries about open space so much and how much of that we have to fill. It's also scary to play defense down the line because you're a lot closer to the attacker and you run out of reaction time and of course you feel that since you're all the way on that sideline there's so much space in the diagonal for the attacker to hit so what's the right way to do it first you cannot treat the two block like a four block and if you don't know the difference the four block is when the blocker dives late into the angle and on contact, the defender is sprinting to the line. That is designed only to block the hard cross and defend the slow high line. When we're doing a cross block, we are truly defending hard line. We're almost giving up the idea of digging a cut shot. That's what the cross block gives up, the cut shot or the over cross that happens here on the far sideline. You have to make sure that you don't, don't, don't treat the two block like a four block. You need to reserve the four block for when you need it. So we can't have you from the diagonal or from the middle making big running and splashing moves down the line. Because if you appear late, but you're off balance and you're rushed, you're not gonna dig the hard driven ball anyway. You need to be stable in order to dig most hard driven balls. So you wanna shade right behind your blocker to give the offense a little tiny cue that maybe you could get the over cross ball and then you're gonna take a single sidestep into the line. One of the biggest mistakes that we see players make is that they get all the way to the sideline. They think that their feet have to be on that sideline. But if my foot is on a sideline, then my arm is defending space out of bounds. So I'm wasting some of my body. So if my sideline is here, I have the line defended with my arm. So I don't need to be on that sideline. So give yourself a little bit of space when you're on that line from the sideline. Shade behind your blocker to start, and then one easy sidestep into the line, not darting and not getting all the way to the perimeter. That might make you a little bit closer to the over cross ball, but you're still not gonna be able to defend anything that's hit into the perimeter. The cross block is a dangerous block, we don't use it frequently, but it can be really useful against shorter players who really like to try to hit hard. Because when the shorter player likes to try to hit hard or somebody who doesn't jump as high likes to try to hit hard, a lot of times they end up taping or slowing the ball down or hitting into the net. So we show that our blocker is in the diagonal, that hitter gets really thirsty and they try to bang down the line and all of a sudden it's a harder angle. So they might hit out, they might hit into the net or they might tape it and give you an easy free ball. So that's cross blocking and line defense. The most common worry or common question that we get is like, if I'm all the way on that line for the attacker, how am I ever gonna get to the over cross? And here's the answer. You're probably not. This defense isn't designed, every defense isn't designed to pick up every shot efficiently. But if we can make the hitter change for one or two plays, if we can get them to do what we want them to do and make sure that they stay thinking or insecure, we are gonna be a better defender for it and we're gonna have a better defensive system. So don't worry when you don't get a dig in one defensive set, so long as you're continuing to think about what that attacker is trying to do over the long course of the match. One easy drill that we can do for this is having a attacker on a box hitting down the line. Make sure that when the attacker tosses, your defender shifts into the line calmly with one single push lateral step. We don't want them darting, we don't want them sprinting into that position, just far enough so that you're one light shift away. Make sure that you're not making any big splashes because that would be proof that you're trying to sprint into your position. 
So, hitter or coach on a box, locker blocking cross, coach tosses, defender shifts into the line, and get a hard driven attack. If you want to help them help cover the over cross, then that coach or that hitter should hit some balls into the high diagonal, but make sure you're not hitting a cut shot because this block defense is not designed to pick up any perimeter balls or any cut shots. It's designed to pick up the hard driven line and a sloppy over cross ball. Before you head out, I'd like to hear from you. So I want to know in the comments below why or when you choose to use a cross block. Is it random just to switch it up? Is it against a certain type of player? Or is it a reason that you have that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments, I wanna hear. So here at Better at Beach, we run classes and camps all the time, so I hope you head to the website and I hope you download our free drill book, which is below. If you're on our email list, you're going to get the first opportunities to our limited opportunity and limited capacity exotic camps around the world and around the US. If you don't wanna to come to a camp or you can't find us in person, don't even worry about it because we got you set up with amazing courses. And if you like defense, we have a 60 day ultimate defender course that you can take with us. It's an intensive live course that happens one time per year Make sure you're on the email list to find out about it. The recorded version is always available, but you're gonna get live feedback and have Q&A two times per week any time you do one of our live courses. Head down to betteratbeach.com, check out the links below, and I'll see you next time.